Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Sienna. We're talking about this generation right here from year 2011 to year 2020 guys. If you have one of those, you need to find where your navigation fuses are located. You will have multiple fuses, up to five, six different fuses in two different fuse boxes. We will explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take things completely apart. We show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts to use at a good price, quick shipping, that way guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here. Uh, you also have that special integration relay right here and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So now the navigation fuses, where you can expect to find them guys, we'll demonstrate on this 2012 Toyota Sienna right here. You have by the way two different fuse boxes and today we'll work in both. The first one, open the driver door. If you look above the pedals under the dash on the left side all the way upside down guys, you will see one white cover. Go ahead open that white cover. Okay, it will look like this one and once you open it, it will look like this one. This is the fuse box layout here. Before we guys continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find find out for sure if it's good or bad. The same thing for relays guys, okay? Uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars, so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays. And for some certain fuses guys, it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them, otherwise you can burn the electronics. And uh, for instance, working on airbags, fuses or anything like that, you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery. And if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system, I will never recommend to do that guys. Uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. Here in this fuse box we need to check up to four fuses, then we need to go to a different fuse box. The first fuse that we need to check is fuse number two, that's seven and a half amp fuse right here. Then you need to check this is three, four, this is an empty fuse, then fuse number five right here will need to be checked as well. Fuse number six, you need to check that one too. Next you need to check fuse number 21, that 10 amp fuse here. Now. If you open the hood guys, facing the engine, on the right side, you have a fuse box under this cover here. Go ahead, open it, you see that layout here. Now, we're just going to zoom in on the fuses itself and what we have here guys, the fuse that we need to check, you may or may not have this one, is fuse number 28 and there is one more that you need to check, fuse number 36, that 15M fuse. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, see you guys next time.